today we're going to talk about graphs of the quadratic functions part a this uh this is one lesson but it's broken into an a and a b part all right the two forms we're talking about are the quadratic function today standard and the vertex form so the standard form is what we've worked with so far so ax squared plus bx plus c we found in our last video that the axis symmetry can be found by doing x equals negative b over 2a this is also how you find the vertex the x-point of the vertex. So you find the x-point of the vertex, and then you take that x and you plug it back into the equation as the x to find the entire vertex. Over here with the vertex form, it looks much different. The axis of symmetry is just x equals the h because the vertex is just the hk, hence the vertex form. So if I had... Um, f of x equals x minus 3 squared plus 4. What is the vertex there? All right. The vertex here is 3, 4. All right. You have to change the sign of whatever your x is here. Since it's negative in here, it's going to be positive out here. If it's positive in here, it's going to be negative out here. So, for an example, if I have f of x equals x plus 2 squared plus 4. The vertex here, since this is positive and it's negative, you have to switch the sign when it comes out to make it negative 2, 4. That's my vertex in that vertex form. And the last example, if I have f of x equals negative 2x plus 3 squared minus 5. Since that's positive, when I take it out from the vertex, it becomes negative. So negative 3, negative 5. So that's the main thing you find from the vertex form. Like in the standard form, you know the y-intercept is the c. The big thing here is finding the vertex, hence the vertex form. The first thing we're doing is standard to vertex form. So we have to switch this, all right? This is a couple step process. It's a lot like completing the square, um, if you remember how to do that. So the first step is I'm gonna move my five to the other side by adding five. I'm just not going to put the f of x there. You can if you want, but you don't need to. Second step. You do something different. You do negative b over 2a squared here. All right? So my b is negative 2, which makes this positive 2 over 2 times 1 squared. 1 squared, which is 1. Third step. You add 1 to both sides. Uh, that gives you 6. Uh, fourth step is you just break it uh, down like you usually do. So this becomes x minus 1 squared, then subtract the 6 over, and there you go. So your vertex form of this is f of x equals x minus 1 squared minus 6. And that means your vertex is 1, negative 6. Now the other part of this is being able to go backwards. I'm going to go backwards too. So how do I go from vertex to standard form? All right. You just basically go backwards. So if I have f of x equals x minus 1 squared minus 6, how do I switch that to standard form? 
So I expand this out. So x minus 1 times x minus 1. x squared plus 1. Minus 1x minus 1x. x squared minus 2x plus 1. And subtract 6. x squared minus 2x minus 5. And that was our original uh, function there. So there you go. Um, standard to vertex, vertex back to standard form. All right, now we're gonna do another example of going from standard to vertex form. So the first thing we do is move the A to the other side. Then negative B over 2A. So that makes me negative four over two times one squared gives me negative 2, 4 over 2 squared, which is negative 2 squared, which is 4. Should have been color coded, sorry. So then it's x plus 4x plus 4 equals negative 8 plus 4. So break, combine that to get negative 4 over there. And our last step is you break this down. So I get f of x equals x plus 2 squared, then add that over, plus 4. But there you go. So your vertex form of this is f of x equals x plus 2 squared plus 4. And negative 2, 4 is your vertex of that. Now we're going to go back the other way. But that's how you do that. So if I have f of x equals x plus 2 squared plus 4. Alright. I foil this out. not always that easy but right now it is all right now we're going to start with the vertex go to standard and then standard to vertex all right so first step foil this out So that's our standard form. Now we're going to take it from standard back to vertex. And I'm just going to do it all in one swoop. I get b over 2a squared gives us 4, negative 4 over 2 times 1 squared, which gives us negative 2 squared, which is 4. So x squared plus 4x plus 4, because I'm adding it to both sides, equals negative 1 plus 4. So then x plus 2 equals 3 minus 3 minus 3. x plus 2 squared minus 3 is our original function, which we get. So I'm going to explain the process one more time. Move the constant to the other side. Use this to find the new number or complete the square or whatever, find it there. Then you break it down. So basically whatever that number is going to be without the negative sign in front of it, uh, just squared, will be that number right there. And just move the number back over. It's not that hard, but. All right, this has been graph of quadratic functions A. Hope it helped.